What happens when self-defense is against the law? What happens when the protectors become the predators? What happens when innocents are betrayed? Imagine that two-thirds of all Americans disappear. 170 million people. Or that the countries of Germany, France, and Spain are virtually wiped off the map. 170 million people gone. In the 20th century, that's how many innocents were slaughtered, tortured, starved, mutilated, worked to death, bayoneted, hanged, annihilated at the hands of their governments. They had no means to defend themselves. Chinese culture is built on obligation and obedience. The individual serves family, society, and state. Law governs the masses, but rulers stand above the law. The people easily become pawns. 20th century China is filled with turmoil and war. In the early years, nationalists vie with communists for political control. By 1935, the nationalist government, now in full power, prohibits private ownership of arms. A person can be punished, even if he violates the law unintentionally. But the new laws do not bring peace to the disarmed and obedient citizens of China. 1942-44, four million die in famines, aggravated by government confiscation of crops. 1937 to 1949, the Sino-Japanese War. Men who refuse to be drafted into the army are tortured, mutilated, and killed. Many uncooperative soldiers are shot or starved to death. The toll, another four million. And in 1937, there is Nanking. 225,000 Japanese troops advance on the city. 300,000 Chinese soldiers flee, throwing down their weapons in the path of the oncoming Japanese war machine. Hundreds of thousands of children, women, sick and old people are left to the mercy of a merciless foreign invader. Lacking any tradition of self-defense and forbidden to own firearms, the people of Nanking are cornered and helpless. They are raped, buried alive, burned alive, used for bayonet practice, and forced to watch as their own organs are cut out of them. Even a visiting Nazi observer is horrified. More misery is to come. When the communists take over in 1949, they impose their own laws to discourage and punish firearms ownership. The most harmless forms of gun ownership are forbidden. Yet the communists themselves are lawless under Chairman Mao's drive to produce an ideal society. From the agrarian reforms of the 1950s to the cultural revolution near the end of Mao's reign, men, women, and children are treated as tools of the government or as enemies of the state. During 38 long years, communist violence and economic experiments wipe out an additional 35 million Chinese and possibly as many as 100 million. Chairman Mao said that guns were the ultimate source of all political power. He controlled all the guns. Lies like lions after slumber, in a vanquishable number, shake your chains to earth like dew, which in sleep have fallen on you. We are, 
Many. They are. 